Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to Rooster's Recipe. Today, Alex and I are going to be showing you how to make the most delicious slow cooker chicken alfredo. Let's get started. So you're gonna add two boneless chicken breasts. Or about a pound. To your crock pot. So you're gonna need four ounces of cream cheese. And then you're gonna need four tablespoons of butter, all chopped up. You will need three tablespoons of minced garlic. Add a little bit of salt and pepper to your liking. Okay, so now you're going to take two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. And go ahead and add that to your crock pot. So you'll need one cup of chicken broth. Pour it into your crock pot. So now you're going to cook it on high for about two to three hours. And then you're going to come back and add in the rest of your ingredients. All right, so once you are about, I'd say about two and a half to three hours in, you could come in here and you want to grab a mixing bowl and you're gonna take the chicken breast out and shred up all of your chicken. It just makes it a lot easier to do it that way. All right, so now you are going to return your chicken to the crock pot. And about a half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then just take any pasta of your choice and use about eight ounces. So I'm gonna use half of this box and dump it into your crock pot with the rest of your mixture. Now you're going to stir everything together. All right, so after you get everything mixed properly, you want to continue to cook it on high for about 35 to 40 more minutes. And then your chicken Alfredo should be complete. I can't wait to see how it turns out. All right, so I'd say it's been a little bit over the amount of time we would normally cook it, 30 to 45 minutes. There are some noodles in there that did not get all the way covered, so. I'm going to put the top back on it for a few minutes, but it looks so scrumptious. All right, I gave it just a few more minutes and this is what we're looking at. Oh my gosh, it looks absolutely delicious and it smells even better. So I cannot wait to taste it. All right, so when you are done, you can pair your chicken alfredo with some garlic bread and enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to make a yummy breakfast casserole. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is one package of smoked sausage, about a half of a yellow onion diced up, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese, one can of cream of mushroom soup. You're also gonna need one 32 ounce package of diced hash brown potatoes, or whichever top you choose. And then I like to add some ground thyme and some parsley flakes as well. So go ahead and dice up your smoked sausage. All right, once you're done dicing up or slicing up your sausage, you wanna go ahead and sit it off to the side. So now grab a medium saucepan, pour in one cream of mushroom soup. Along with one cup of milk. Whisk that well on medium heat for about two to three minutes. All right, make sure you bring it to a simmer. So first to the crock pot, you're gonna add your hash browns. Next, you're gonna pour in your diced smoked sausage. Also half of your yellow onion. And then pour in one cup of your shredded cheddar cheese. Then you're going to take your milk and cream of mushroom mixture and then pour it over the top of all of your ingredients in a crock pot. 
All right, so then go ahead and mix all of these ingredients together in your crock pot. I highly recommend defrosting your hash browns before starting. All right, so Alex is making it all even for us. Go ahead and sprinkle the rest of your shredded cheese evenly across your mixture in your crock pot. And then you are going to sprinkle some parsley flakes on top, about a half a teaspoon, and also some ground thyme, also about a half of a teaspoon. Pop the top on your crock pot. And cook it on high for three hours. Yum. All right, babe, you're gonna stir this and let us know if it's done or not. I believe it's done by now. Oh, it and looks then about three and a half so hours. Good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yummy. This breakfast casserole is so easy to make and so delicious. Okay, so today on Rooster's Recipe, I'm going to show you how to make my very favorite crock pot mac and cheese. This recipe was originally inspired by Trisha Yearwood. So we're gonna get started on that. And if you're wondering where Mr. Rooster is today, he's been really, really busy at work lately. So if you haven't seen him over here on the channel, that is why, but I'm hoping he gets home in time for the mac and cheese to be done and give us a little taste test and let us know what he thinks. All right, so I'm gonna start by using a six quart crock pot. I get a lot of questions about this crock pot. It is from Target, it's the Hearth and Hand, and it also is the crock pot brand. Okay, so this recipe actually calls for about eight ounces of noodles, but I just like to add in a little bit more. The cheese that I use is more than enough. So I add a little bit more pasta. All right, next we are going to add one can of evaporated milk. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add about a cup and a half of milk. We're gonna add two eggs beaten, a half a stick of butter melted. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, and then of course, a little bit of pepper. And then I'm gonna take about four cups of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm gonna pour it in to my crock pot. And you're supposed to cook this on low for about three hours, but my crock pot, it usually only takes about two, two and a half hours. So just keep an eye on it. So mix it together all like this. Y'all, this is the easiest crock pot mac and cheese in the world. And it's so delicious. I actually usually like to use shell noodles, I didn't today, but it doesn't matter. Either way, you can use any kind you like. Okay, after you mix everything up, you're going to take the rest of your cheese. You're gonna need a total of about five cups and just sprinkle it on top evenly like this. And then I'm gonna sprinkle paprika on top of the cheese and we will be ready to start cooking. Measure with love, baby. Always measure with love. All right, so let's pop the top on our crock pot, as I like to say. And you are going to cook this on low for three hours. Like I said, my crock pot usually just takes about two hours, so keep checking on it. But if you're wondering where these candles are from, I absolutely love them. I just got them from Amazon. They've been working great so far, and they look so cozy at night. So I'll try to remember to link them for you below, but I will be back when this is done, and Alex will probably be home from work to taste it for us. All right, Alex is home for work and it's been about two hours or so. So let's check on the mac and cheese. And if it's done, let's let him do a little taste test. Ooh, it's looking yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir it all up together. And this is why you wanna put non-stick cooking spray on it because it will stick if you don't. See, mine's even sticking a tad. It is pretty much done. I'm gonna let it cook for about 15 more minutes, I would say, and then we're gonna let Alex try it. All right, so it's been about 15 more minutes. Let's give Alex a little bowl to try. 
Alice is home from work and he's going to try this mac and cheese. Really good. It's really good? Yes. You like it? Yes, I really do. Good. Very um, cheesy and the noodles are very soft. If the husband likes it, it's always a win for me. Today, we are making Mississippi chicken in the pot roast. Okay, scratch that, in the crock pot, but I thought I would leave that part in because it's real life and it's so funny. All right, so the first thing you wanna do for this recipe is add three large chicken breasts to your crock pot. The next thing you want to add is one packet of Aju gravy mix. After that, you want to add one ranch seasoning packet to the crock pot on top of your gravy mix and chicken. Then you're gonna add one stick of butter just to the top like that. And then you're going to add about six pepperoncinis. All right, so I'm gonna pop the top on here really quick. And as you'll notice, I did use a few more pepperoncinis because mine were really small. I opened up a new jar, so the ones on top were small. So we are gonna cook this on low for six to eight hours. And that is all you have to do. So I will meet you guys back here in about six to eight hours. Okay, at this point, it had been about five hours and I should have probably checked on it before now, but Alex is shredding the chicken and it looks really good. All right, so Alex checked on it and shredded it up a little bit for us. He's gonna go outside and cut grass. It probably just needs to cook a little bit longer, but it is looking and smelling so, so good. All right, so it looks like it is done. It looks so delicious. I think what we're gonna do is have this on brioche buns and tortillas. So, and keep in mind, this is our first time making this. My friend Jessica Donahue makes it all the time and is always bragging about it, so it better live up to her standards. All right, so Ansley wants her served on a tortilla, so that's what we are going to do. And there you go. I bet this would be really, really good with some melted cheese on the inside, which obviously it would melt with the chicken. And I wanna say again, like I did in my last video, don't be trying to judge me for my paper plates. This ain't the Food Network, this is real life. If you like trying new recipes, subscribe to our channel. Until next time, bye. bye.